Hello, this is Sonic Miku on DeviantArt. Please excuse this crappy video because I don't have one of those fancy whatever cameras that you can hold with one hand and hold still, but... <clears throat> I'm Sonic Miku on DeviantArt, and I'm going to show you all how I draw... Well, not draw, but how I color my pictures of Sonic the Hedgehog. For now, this is my art binder kind of crappy, but I'm going to find my picture that I'm going to show y'all. Oh god, um, that's a yaoi, so y'all don't want to see that. Okay, the one I'm going to show y'all, it's a little kind of a crappy picture, but some of y'all might have seen the sketch on DeviantArt. I love doing crossovers. I just haven't been able to do a lot. This is how I color. And, um, this is how, yeah, um, what I do is I use regular crayon, I mean, uh, code pencils. Sometimes I use Crazy Art, which is this brand right here. I don't know if this camera can make y'all see it well. Turn on my lamp. My art lamp should work. Here we go. This is a lot better of a picture. Now that I have my art lamp on, I caught my art lamp because it really helps me see when I draw. But I love Italia, Axis Pars Italia. And America is one of my favorite characters, so I do a crossover of Sonic and America. But I haven't been doing a lot of crossovers lately. Um, yeah, um, it's kind of weird looking right now because I didn't like how I make the bangs on them. But I'm really proud of how I made the jacket because I don't know. I just I just love America's jacket. It's cool. But well, how I colored it. You kind of go by the color wheel of how you do the shading. Never use brown and black because unless you want to, but in my opinion, and I learned from my art teacher, that it kind of makes it look like they have dirt on them. And what you do, you get one of these colored pencils. Let me see. Let's, for example, um, for Sonic Spike. You use regular Crayola colored pencils. They're kind of messed up right now, but you can also use the brand like Prang, which is, I don't know if y'all can see it that well. Prang. This is a light blue color. And what I do is, when I use this, I light the color in the area where I want it to be all a, um, a shining area or a area where um, it kind of shows a volume to where it looks like it's popping out of the picture because it's a lighter color then what you use you use his normal blue color and this is a cr it's a crappy looking Code pencil, but this is a light, this is a dark blue color of Sonic. That's his color, natural color. I color in around it. It's kind of already colored in, but I'm just showing you how I do this. And once you, oh, I missed the spot right there actually. And you color in and fill it in. And wherever you think the shading should be, in my opinion, I use a purple. And I kind of blend it in. I darken it as hard as I can. Really, really dark. And when it hits the dark blue, I take the dark blue again. And I put it over the purple a little bit to look like it's actually blending in. Yeah. That way... It's all nice and blended well. And I'm going to use this a bit to lighten this a bit more. Okay. 
white is a very good example for to make the shining part on your picture. And what it does, it helps bring out the volume of your picture. Like for the spike, I don't know if y'all can see it that well, but you kind of blend it in to make it look like it's working real well. And that's how you make the volume of the spike. And if you want to make it more darker, there's this thing. It's very helpful. It's called the color wheel. I don't have the picture, but it's on my phone, and I took a picture of it. My teacher told me a color wheel is extremely helpful when it comes to shading. And it actually works. But it also depends on how you blend in the colors. I don't know if you can see it, but this is what it looks like. And what it does, whatever, um, sorry, my phone keeps turning off. What you do, see, since sonic spikes are blue, right there, you go over, dang it, phone, um, across from the dark blue, there's the orange and yellow. And you can use those on top of the purple and dark blue. From right here, the dark blue, I go to... You can't see it that well because... Freaking phone. Um, it's orange and yellow from across from the dark blue. I prefer orange because it gives the color a bit more darker shading. And this is what it did to my picture. It made that darkish, the darkish part right there. And I usually use normal colored pencils like Crayola. I don't know if you can see it that well. But it says Crayola. Anyway, it's a normal orange pencil. And I press really, really hard. And I get a little bit lighter. That way it won't be too dark. Like, it doesn't show like it's actually um, just on there. It looks like it's actually blending in. That way it gets the shading part of the spikes because it's actually underneath and not on top, as you can see. You, wherever there's more shade, you have to press really hard on the colored pencil. That way it can get its, um, its shading color. If you mess up and go over the line, that's fine, because I'm sure good artists are like that, too. I mean, I know I'm not. I mean, I'm not perfect. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of other mistakes right here that I have to erase. I mean, it takes me forever to freaking color, so... <laughs> and what I do is I still use... And what you do, since there's orange showing up, I use dark blue again to go color over it so it can still have that shading part but that way it's actually blended to look like it actually got shaded and I I used to use brown and black but after when my art teacher showed me how to do this I actually started liking doing this because it makes my it makes the picture the drawing more colorful in a specific way instead of all just um, a shading where you can see the black and brown. This actually is very helpful. It shows, it really makes the picture pop out real well. But like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a perfect artist or that really that good to be honest. Um, but I really love coloring like this. It's a lot of fun and so far I'm proud of this picture because <laughs> it's my <laughs> favorite picture. I love Sonic the Hedgehog so much. But anyway, um, let me think. But there it is for that shading. If you have any more hints or need help with coloring, you can always go on to Sonic Miku on DeviantArt. And there you'll find me. And I'll be happy to give you advice. I won't do it for you, but I'll give you advice of the color wheel or... 
Well, the color wheel you'll probably have to figure out on your own because it's your own style of art. But this is the way I color, so if you like, you don't have to comment, but I'm just hoping this will help a lot of people who really love drawing something like the hedgehog and crossovers or whatever. So, alright, and I'll see y'all next time.